Hey, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I am a little bit late. <laughs> I was going crazy trying to get everything ready for this video. So, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? I hope you guys are staying warm. It is freezing cold outside. Let me fix my shirt. I never can tell what I look like until I turn the computer on. <laughs> I had my pajamas on, but I went ahead and put a, a shirt on so you guys could see me today and uh, I could say hello to everybody. So let's wait till everybody gets on. I know I'm late, late, late. So come on in, come on in. Hey, everybody. Hey, Renee. Hey, Myra. Hey, Bill. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Laura. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Beth. Hey, Julie. Hey, Diana. Oh, everybody's going by now fast. Hey, Linda. Hey, Hilda. Hey, Francis. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Marie. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Linda. Hey, Bernadine. Hey, Tony. How are you guys doing tonight? Yay, you can see me. <laughs> This is kind of a last minute thing. I was like, okay, you know, I don't like to show myself because <laughs> normally I don't have clothes on. I'm wearing pajamas. So I just threw this shirt on that um, I wore out today because I went and got a uh, pedicure because my toenails were looking pretty bad. So I had to go get a pedicure for Christmas. So I got some nice, pretty maroon kind of gold flecked uh, toes now. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys are having a great week so far. It went from like 75 to 40. I think it's gonna be even like 30s tonight, but it is cold outside. So we are making some last minute Christmas gifts today. We've got three projects. Um, one is super, super easy, one is easy, and one is almost easy. So they're pretty, pretty easy things. Um, but um, two of them are from Amazon. And we're just going to make something easy with it. And then one of them is a Stampin' Up um, gift box. But all of them have Stampin' Up products. So, um, oh, and I forgot to tell you. So today started um, the clearance rack update. So this morning I got an email um, saying that the clearance, racks, clearance rack was updated. So there's lots of new stuff on there um, at a good discount. It's mostly stuff from the let me see well stuff from the last catalog so it's got like the retired colors um paper and ink pads and things like that and then uh what else a lot of stamp sets dies that kind of thing so there's lots of good stuffs on there oh bill says his hoofs need trimming <laughs> that's bad if they're hooves. <laughs> oh my gosh so Everybody doing good? I hope you guys are. I'm doing good. <laughs> 33 degrees. Where are you, Renee? Um, love the colors in my top. Thanks. This is one of my um, Amazon shirts. So if I buy something on Amazon and I like it, then I order it like in a bunch of colors because this was really comfortable. So um, this is like... I don't know, less than $20, but it was really comfortable, and uh, so I just wear it all the time. But I love it. Love me some Mary Merlot. Yes, that is about the color of my toes, Mary Merlot. All right, so let me show you what we're making. So we've got an ornament. So this is the ornament, and that's the front, and you can see it's embossed. And then this is the back. So we're gonna make this ornament. These are from Amazon, the wooden, they're wooden circle ornaments, four inches. So I got those on Amazon. I put the link in the description box below the video. Then these towels, we've got different ones. So all I did was just wrap it in ribbon and make a tag. So these are great hostess gifts if you go to a Christmas party or something like that. Here's another one. And they had all different kinds. So the kind I got, um, let me show you like a big one. Hold on. 
So the kind I got was um, like red and black checkered and different things like that. But they had different ones that were, all these are different too. There's some white ones. I think all the white ones are gone because I did these in class. So, um, but they have some that are blue that are really, really cute. And they have like country snowmen and different patterns. So there's like four different patterns on there, but I put the link in the description box below the video so you can um, order them. You get 12 towels for I think $28. So they're only like $2 a piece. So that's a great deal. And they're super easy because all I did was roll it up and just put a ribbon and a tag. So that's super quick and easy. And then probably the ornaments, the hardest thing we're gonna make. And then this is a little gift card box. And this is in the Stampin' Up! catalog. So it's right after the paper and stuff and it's a gift card holder. Um, if you don't wanna do the gift card inside, you can also put like some Giardelli chocolates or something like that. But it's a really, really cute gift box. Um, but it does come with the little gift card holder thing inside to put a gift card. And so this is super easy too. We're just gonna decorate the box. So that's what we're making tonight. So I hope you will um, join me for the video. And these are all projects that we did in my class last week. And they really enjoyed it. They all loved the towel. So they thought that was a great idea. And it's so easy. It takes like less than five minutes to make. So, all right, I'm gonna turn the camera down so we can get started. And oh, we got lots of show and tell. So hold on one second. Let me see, where am I? Okay, let me get my camera. Flip it around. There we go. Okay, so now you can see all my stuff. And hopefully I'm straight. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Checking in from Canada. Hey, Debbie. Fun idea. Like the host, like the idea for host gifts. Yep. You shop the same way I do. All the colors, if it fits exactly. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Every time I find something that fits, I buy it in every color because <laughs> I hate shopping. <laughs> well, let me put this away. All right. So oh, here we go. Am I good or did we? Okay. We're still good. All right. So we're going to start with the easiest and go to the hardest last. So this is the hardest one, but it is not really hard. It's just, um, it takes more time than the other ones do. But can you see the sparkle on there? So I'm going to show you. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, man. I don't think it's showing up very good on here. Hold on. I'm trying to get it in the picture good. Darn it. So I made snow on this ornament with um, white shimmer paint and... No, not white shimmer paint. White craft ink and Wink of Stella. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so let's start with the towels because that's the easiest. So all you need is a little dish towel. You don't have to use these. If you have a different kind, you can use that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so all you need is your dish towel. So this is the one that I have that I ordered. And you just fold it up. So we're gonna fold it into fourths. Well, four, like just in half and then in half again. And then we're gonna start. So we want the little hangy thing to be on the end. So these all have a little hangy thing. So you could hang this on something when you give it to somebody, like a glass of, I mean, a bottle of wine or something like that would be a great idea. All right, so you're just gonna roll this up. And as you're rolling, if it gets like bunched up, just kind of grab that bunched up and put it right in the roll with you. All right, so there you go. So now we've got it all rolled up like that. Well, that didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it. Let's do it the other way. <laughs> we want that finished end on the outside. <laughs> I don't know why I did that backwards. Hold on. That little thing will be outside anyway. All right. Hold on. Let's go backwards. We're going to roll it the other way. And this will still be hanging out. All right. Because we want that nice edge on the outside. <clears throat> okay. This is always easier when everybody's not watching me. All right, so this one has a little snowman on it. So isn't that cute? And then you're just gonna take your ribbon and this is the um, black and white gingham ribbon that's in the big catalog. And you're just gonna wrap it around 
and tie a bow. So try to get it like in the middle. And there you go, we're almost done. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, we're not almost done. <laughs> we gotta stamp the tag. All right, so this is two and three um, eighths. This is the punch in the catalog, the new one. And then the white one is two inches. So two and three eighths and then two inches. Those are our two circles. And we're gonna do the deck the halls in black. And this is from that set. Oh shoot. I forgot the name of it now. It's in the holiday mini. All right, so stamp that in black. And then we're gonna stamp our little pine leaves in the green, and this is shaded spruce. And I need some scrap paper. Oh, I forgot to show you my Happy Mail. Oh my gosh. I'll do it after this one. We'll take a little quick side sidebar. All right, so we're gonna just stamp. Did I stamp off? Yes, I did. All right, stamp on there. Stamp on there. You don't want it full strength because you don't want to cover all your words up. All right, so there's that. So that was shaded spruce and memento black. So we're done with that. All right, and then we're just, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to roll it. Let's do that real quick. Roll it in your ink and get your edges all nice and pretty. Okay, now we're done with it. All right, so then we're gonna just glue this together. And I wanna line my checkers up. There we go. And I loved how this paper matched our, the towel. So that's why I picked these towels. But the, if you wanna use the, like the snowman set or snowflake set, then I would get probably the blue ones that match because they go really well. But there's, there's four choices and three of the four are really, really pretty. All right, we're gonna punch a hole. This is my like 100 year old punch. Wait a minute. There we go. It literally, like, I think is 100 years old. Okay, so then what we're going to do is slide this. This is the white um, Baker's Twine. That's in the big catalog. So we're just going to wrap it underneath that ribbon and then slide it through here, the little hole. And then if you want, you can tie a bow. I don't think I cut this long enough for a bow, so I'm just going to tie a knot. But leave it kind of loose so it hangs there. And then just trim that off. And I just kind of rolled that knot behind it a little bit. So there you go. So there's your nice little um, gifts. And you have that little hangy thing. So you can just hang this right on a bottle of wine or anything else, or just pop it in a gift bag with some other stuff, like some candy, some nuts, anything like that that you want. But isn't that just adorable? I love it, love it, love it. And everybody loves dish towels for Christmas. So that's our first project. Let me show you my happy mail real quick. So these are the ones I got in the mail in the last couple days. And I'll be sending, everybody who sent me a, a Christmas card, I'll be sending one back. Bill says, did the poltergeist return your shimmer spray? No, I still have not found it. I don't know where it is. I have searched and searched and searched, and I don't know where it is. It's just the weirdest thing. I don't know, maybe someone in class accidentally took it or something. I don't know, but I haven't seen it since class the other day, so... I don't know, I hope, I hope nobody accidentally took it, but um, it's going. All right, so this one is from Devonna Alderson, and she did this gorgeous card. I love it, how it's split like that with both the papers showing. I'm not sure if this paper's sold out yet or not. Does anybody know? 
but it is gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it, love it. And I miss these snowflakes so much. You know, I bought a ton of them when they retired last year. So I could just use them for my personal self. Because I love them. Um, next one is from Sharon Rowland. So this is a gorgeous card. And so easy, too. I might have to copy this one. I think I have one pack of this paper. If I... Um, I'm not mistaken. I only ordered like one pack, I think. So I haven't used it yet. But isn't that pretty? Love it, love it. And I love the font on that. So gorgeous card. Thank you, Sharon. Love it. And then this one is from Liz Aronson. And this is a fun fold. So look at this. Glitter paper in the gold. And you open it. And then it opens like that. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it. I love getting cards in the mail. Love, love, love. I'm sure we all do. This one is from Barbara Rad Radicke. Rad I never know how to say your name, Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> and uh, this is a gorgeous card, too. This is some of my favorite paper from last year. And I loved that stamp set. This was all one of my favorite stamp sets from last year. But beautiful, beautiful. Love that card. I love the poinsettias. And this one is using that gold, um, you know, the gold card kit that we have in the Holiday Mini. This one's from uh, Marva Dahoney. And Marva made this gorgeous card. Love it. And this is retiring. I think it's still available. The paper's retiring, too, so I'm not sure. There's so much stuff that is... Um, wow, Jalen says those tiles are $53 to $60 on Amazon Canada. That is crazy. I can't believe it's twice as much uh, for Canada. So this is from Marva. And I've got one more beautiful card. This one is from Sherry Johnson. So this is gorgeous. And, you know, I got this um, whole uh, embossing bundle where it's like, a, what do you call it, hybrid one where it embosses and cuts out the stars. And I still haven't even opened it yet, and now it's being discontinued. So I think it's almost, I, I'm not sure if everything is sold out, but I know the paper's sold out. I'm not sure if the bundle has sold out too, but it's so pretty, and I'm really mad. I hate it when I get stuff and don't even have time to use it. it seems like they just retire stuff so fast. So I did my pre-order today, because if you're a demonstrator, you could pre-order from the new Spring Mini, which is amazing. So I did that pre-order and ordered lots of new stuff. All right, so that was my Happy Meal. So now we're going to go to the next one, which is the box. Oh, I forgot about the card kit, too. Don't forget, this is the card kit until the 15th. So I did this card kit. So you get all the supplies to make these four cards. If your order is over $50 using the host code, don't forget the host code. And um, if your order is over $100 and you use the host code, then you get the gems too. So um, good deal there because this paper is sold out. So, and I have had, um, I know in the last video I said if I had any extra packs, I would sell them. And I think I've had about 20 people email me about it. So, um, I definitely don't have that much. <laughs> After I do the card kits, I don't know how much I'll have, but I don't think it's going to be more than like three or four packs. So um, whoever was the first couple, you know, people to email me, they're the ones who um, I'll sell that to. But um, I'm sorry I didn't order enough, but I'm going to give it away for free to most of you guys. So um, all you got to do is place your order with me. All right. So next one is the gift box. The um, And here's another one so you can put it either way you want all right so for this one we're using the um, gift card box it's called scalloped gift card boxes it's in the big catalog and here's the item number one six one seven five one and you get ten of them in a pack and they come like this so you get the whole um thing it's the box and then this is the gift card holder that goes inside so it's got the little 
slots to put your gift card in. So I think the easiest way to do it is just to put it together, put the box together first, then decorate it. And here are the measurements. So if you want to, um, I'll just lay this down. You can take a picture. So this is the box. And sorry, that's like so sloppy on paper. So this is the paper that you need. Two of these and two of these. And then this is a two inch circle. Oh, and the ribbon, I have ribbon. And then I had a little piece of linen thread here. There it is. All right, so that's everything you need for this one. Um, Shimmer Spray is $20 on Amazon. That's crazy. I wonder why Canada prices are so much. Because I thought Canada and the United States uh, dollar was almost the same now instead of... used to be where, like, Canada was twice as much as the uh, United States as far as, like, money. But I think the Canada dollar and the U.S. dollar are almost exactly the same now. So I don't know why everything is... I guess maybe shipping. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna put the box together first and there is a good side and a, um, the kind of smoothie side is the outside and you can kind of tell by the way the um, score lines are. So we're gonna score or fold this way and just give it some good creases. So what I do and you don't even need tape for this box. They're so cool. All right, so put your little flaps in first and then kind of fold them over. And then the sides go in and just pop together. So there's like a little notch there. So your sides will go in there. And same thing for this one. So you're just gonna put that over top and then it just pops right into that little slot. Okay, so there, um, hopefully you can see that. So no glue needed, it just pops right in, that little slot there. And then this one pops over into its little slot. So there you go, that's the whole box. Boom, all already done together. All right, then this goes in there together like that. So you can either um, just set it right in there like that and it's just sitting up and looks perfect. Or if you want to glue it down, you can, but you don't need to. Or if you don't want to put it in there at all, just fill it with something else. So that goes inside with your gift card. If you wanted to, you can put the scalloped edge inside here, but um, it doesn't really fit that that well. It does, it does fit, but it's a little bit tight. So I just left it on the outside. All right, so now we're gonna put our paper on. So this is the front of the box where the scallop is. So make sure you get your paper going the right way. But see, that's like a one minute box to put together. It's so super easy. Um, so we're gonna put that on top. And just give it a hold for a second. You can put it together, you know, the paper, decorate it before you fold it up, but I did that the first time and I ended up putting the paper on the wrong pieces. So I would recommend not doing that just because you don't want to waste one. Because <laughs> then I was like, dang it. So I was at work yesterday and uh, we had a pretty good day. We were super busy again, but, um, you know, we saw 150 some patients yesterday. And most of you guys know I work at an urgent care center. And I would say out of 150 patients, probably 140 were really nice people. And then there was like 10 that weren't. And oh my gosh, a couple of the people were just downright mean. And um, one guy would just like was walking around cussing everybody out. And then one guy, he was mad because we had like a two hour wait but nobody can get into their primary care. So if you can't get into your primary care and you need to go see a doctor, you go to an urgent care. And we don't do appointments, it's just walk in. So I don't know why people get so upset that we have a wait. It's not our fault. <laughs> you know? Everybody comes there, so. Um, 
you can kind of expect to wait. But usually you can get in and out in less than three hours. So um, that's if we're really busy. If we're not busy, you can get in and out in less than an hour. So um, that's not too bad. But anyway, so one of my coworkers, you know, like we're the ones that check people in. And one of my coworkers, she's not a very good speller. And, um, so I'm, I'm always having to correct her stuff, but, um, she kind of keeps a list, you know, and she's got Google right there so she can look stuff up if she doesn't know how to spell it. But <laughs> somebody came in and they're like, um, yeah, I think I have bronchitis. And so when somebody comes in and just says what they think they have, we just put question mark bronchitis, you know, or question mark, you know, whatever. Um, or if they said, you know, I hurt my left arm, we put left arm injury. So just things like that. So she put question mark bronchitis. Well, I, I wasn't out there to catch it at the time, but I'm getting all congested again. So one of the doctors comes up front <laughs> and he said, <laughs> this is what she wrote. Question mark. that <laughs> so the doctor comes out and says um i'm not gonna say her name but he's like uh the patient in room four are you sure that's what they have he said because it kind of looks like bronchitis <laughs> i was rolling <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so the whole rest of the day, I just kept saying that. Bronco titties. <laughs> so she'll never, never live that one down. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. All right, so we're just going to stamp Merry Christmas. And this is real red. All right, right in the middle. So that was my little joke for t work yesterday. I thought that was hysterical. All right, so that was real red. This is my old pad that is awful looking. And then we've got garden green. We're gonna put the little leaves on with the garden green. So we'll just put that right. Oh, I think I should have stamped off. That's a little bit dark, isn't it? Oh, that is really dark. Okay, so here we go. So got some leaves around the edge and that was garden green and real red. And then we're just going to punch a hole in that one with my 100-year-old hole to punch. And, um, oh, I forgot to roll it. Let's roll that in the green. Oh, we could roll it in red, too. That would be good. But I'll just do it in the green. My green pad looks nicer than the red one. <laughs> Michelle says, I don't need to tell a joke today. I do have a joke, though. I do have a cute joke. All right, so we're just gonna wrap this, pretend like I put a gift card in here. So you can do it this way or you can do it this way. I'm gonna do it this way. Cause I wanna hold the, oh man, I just got ink on my finger. So we're gonna wrap the ribbon around here to hold the scallop part down and then tie a bow. I need a extra hand. <laughs> Uh, hold on, here we go. I want to get it kind of tight. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh, I got a story to tell you guys. So, I don't think I told this one the other day, did I? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it happened right after the video on Saturday. So, um, okay, so this one, we're gonna wrap some linen thread. So here's linen thread. Just slide it right underneath. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it happened. Did I tell you guys about my pantry? Does anybody remember if I told the story about the pantry on Saturday? I think it happened after the video, so I don't think I told you guys yet. 
but it was horrible. Ugh. All right, so this one, oh, I, got, I think I might have enough to do a little bow. Maybe not. No, we'll just cut it. All right, so just do a loose tag there. And there you go. So isn't that cute? So there's our little box. All right, so that was an easy one too. So there's your second gift. So that was our gift box. All right, so now we're gonna do the ornament. Does anybody remember my story? Is your mom gonna dance for us Christmas? Probably, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to get her to do something. I, gotta, I need another video. I should have got her the other day. I went over there and she was just doing fun stuff. She was twirling around in her chair. I should have gotten that on video. Um, oh, hey, Cheryl. First time getting here on time. Good. Uh-oh. My computer was just spinning around. Thanks, Jalen. Okay, so nobody said anything about the pantry, so I don't think I told the story. Let me go ahead and get everything ready for this one. So, let me see. This one you need... There's a couple other ones I did. So this one is embossed and these two are not. Oh, this one you can see it on here, I think. Can you see that sparkle on that one? Oh yes, you can. There we go. <gasps> I see it. Hold on. I can just get at the right angle. Wait a minute. I just saw it a minute ago. If it hits the light just right. I feel like I'm the QVC person trying to get that sparkle for the Dominique. <laughs> well, it's on there. Trust me, it's on there. Um, but anyway, I'll show you guys how I did that in just a minute. So what you need for this one, and I got everything out and I can't find it. Okay, here we go. All right, so you need this four inch um, wooden ornament and this I got from Amazon so you get like 30 in a pack I can't remember I think it was like $8.99 something like that um, and I put the link under the video you need two pieces of 4x4 four four white one for the front one for the back so we need that and then I got a little tag I think this is from stylish shapes but I'm not positive and then I have a little piece of white scrap. This is three quarters of an inch um, high just to put here with the words on it. So you don't really have to worry about how long it is because we're going to cut it. But it's three quarters of an inch. And that's all you need, really. And then this, um, this is the gold and silver trim. And it's in the big catalog. So I just cut a piece of that for the... the um, hangy thing and that's all you need oh and that red ribbon that we just used on the box that's from this one this is in the big catalog too red real red and burlap ribbon combo pack so that's in the big book and that's the item number if you need it okay so let me tell you my story while i'm doing this one so this one you need the two tree stamps the one that's real big trees let me get this out of the way. So we've got our really big tree stamp. And mine's got ink on it. So that one and the one that has the all the trees in it. I can't remember what they're called, but those are the ones you need. Okay, so what we're going to do first is the one white piece that's the front. Let me get these out of the way. Okay. So here's our stamp. We're going to take this, my old mossy meadow pad, and ink it up. Whenever I have a big stamp, I like to ink it up like this. I think it's easier than trying to hold it. Okay. So there you go. And then you're just going to put this right on top. And then take your scrap paper and do that. Okay, so after the video on Saturday, I'm pretty sure it was after the video. I'm almost positive. So I don't know if you guys remember during the video, there was this, like this gnat or bug or something that flew around. 
So I've had these little bugs and I thought they were fruit flies or gnats or something. I didn't know what they were, but they've been like in my house, like almost every day I'd see a couple and I couldn't figure out where they're coming from. The exterminator came and I asked the exterminator about it and he's like, well, you know, I don't have any fruit laying around except for bananas and, and I throw them away before they get brown even. So he's like, it could be coming from your um, drain. So I poured like bleach down the drain and, you know, I tried to, you know, thinking that was what it was. So, and I still had them and I couldn't figure out where they were coming from. All right, so this is the first piece and this is white with mossy meadow. And then what I did was I embossed it with the um, brick embossing folder. And then it comes out like this. So isn't that gorgeous? So now we've got that. So that's our front. And then we're gonna stamp the back piece with the other trees. So we're gonna take the same color. Oh, you know what we're gonna do first though? We're gonna stamp the Merry Christmas. And you know what? I just realized, I think I don't have a Merry Christmas. Uh-oh. I think I forgot it. I sure did. Uh-oh. And I forgot the other words. No, I did. Here they are. Oh, they were hiding. Whew. It's gonna have a heart attack. Okay, never mind. I got them. Okay, so we got black memento. And we're gonna do the Merry Christmas on here. And do it about an inch down because we're gonna be cutting the circle out of this. So you don't want it that close to the top. So there's our Merry Christmas. And then also in the black, we're gonna do our other words. And do them all the way to the left because we're gonna cut this off. Okay, there we go. All right, so both of those are in black. Thank goodness I didn't forget them. Okay, so I, I've been like trying to figure out where these bugs were coming from. They were just little teeny tiny, it looks like fruit flies kinda. And um, so then this one, we're gonna be stamping these trees all over. And this is all the same mossy meadow. Okay. So here's what it looks like. So we're just gonna stamp it. And then while you still have the ink, just keep going until you run out. And then ink it up again. And just keep on stamping. So there you go. So we've kind of just covered that in, let me put a little bit more darker over there. My ink's running low. Okay, so that is all of our stamp. Oh no, it's not, we gotta stamp this too, sorry. So ink that up and then stamp it off. And then we're gonna stamp on top of that. That's a little bit dark, but it's okay. All right, so we're done stamping. So, um, the other day I went in my pantry where I keep like all my canned goods and, um, you know, staples, like anything that's in a can or salad dressings or, um, like pasta stuff, you know, just pantry junk that nothing that's like open, everything's sealed shut and whoops, I still need this. Okay. So what we're going to do is this piece first, we're going to. Um, put it on our um, wood circle. So what you're gonna do is hold it up to the light, and I know you guys can't see this, but when I hold it up to the light, I can see like where my words are going, and I can see that the circle goes like this. So I wanna glue it just like that. So it's pretty much centered, just a teeny bit below the top. So I'm gonna put the glue all over this, and make sure you kind of get it near the edge. So when I went in my pantry the other day, I smelled something funny and I'm like, ugh, what is that? It smelled like something was rotten. And um, I couldn't figure out what it was. And I, you know, took a bunch of stuff out. So I'm just looking in the light to see where this goes. I can see, it needs to come a little bit over. There we go. Okay, all right, so it's, centered on there with the words. 
So let it sit for just a minute and then we're gonna cut it out. So I went in the pantry the other day and it had that smell and I, I couldn't figure out what it was. It just smelled like something was rotten. Not like something dead rotten, but just something rotten. Like some food, you know, like kind of like onions or something. So we're gonna cut this out. I'm gonna get my glasses on. And I took a whole bunch of stuff out, couldn't find anything. I'm like, well, that's just weird. I don't know what it is. So then I went back there a couple days later, same thing. So I started pulling stuff out, couldn't find anything in there. And I'm like, this is so weird. And so Saturday after the video, I opened it and I was like, ugh, there was really something. So I said, I just got to take everything out of here. So I start pulling everything out and I picked up the salad dressings and they were stuck to the, that paper that I have on the top that, what is it called? Contact paper. And I was like, oh my gosh. What the heck is going on? So this is just a sanding block for your nails. So you're just going to take that and just go right around the edge and give it a smooth edge to it. So I pick it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So right next to it was more salad dressing and I kept pecking them up. They're all like stuck, like there's something oozing out. So I'm thinking, what did the bottle break or is there a leak or what's going on? Well, then there's a box of macaroni and cheese, like a big box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's stuck. And I pick it up and something in that box was bad. And I'm thinking, this is what I think. I didn't check because it smelled so bad. I went right out the door and threw it in the outside garbage. But I think what happened was that pack of cheese, you know, that comes in the foil, because it was like Velveeta shells and cheese. I think that foil cheese had somehow not been sealed all the way and it was oozing out. And that's where those bugs were coming from. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, it was so disgusting. I had to rip that paper up off the thing. I had to take everything out. I had to like bleach the shelf. It was just disgusting. So I don't know how long it's been like that, but it was pretty bad. So I don't know how it got there. You know, it came like that, I guess, because I bought it like a month or so ago. All right, we're going to sponge this with Balmy Blue. So just go right all over everything with this. But I'm so glad I finally found out what was causing those bugs and that smell. Y'all ever have anything like that happen to you? And you're just like... What in the heck? So I don't know what, if it was that cheese or if something was in that box, but it was really gross. But now my house smells good again. <laughs> and I think the bugs are all gone. So we're good. All right, so there we go. Just want to give it some good color. All right, so then we've got the other side. So we want to line this up. I'm going to sponge a little bit of this before I do it on the thing. I love, love the stamp. And I think the stamp set um, was well, just one stamp, but I think it's carrying over into um, like an online thing. All right, I can sponge some more when I glue it down. All right, so what you want to do, you want to make sure that both sides are even. So I got a little post-it, and now I think I lost it. There it is. All right, so take your post-it, and I just cut a piece of post-it. So I want to put this right in the center. So I know that's the center of my other side. So now I've got this one, and I'm going to put that face down, and then I'm going to glue this down to that side. So we're just gonna put glue on this. You could try and eyeball it, but I found out if you just eyeball it, it gets crooked. So we know that is, oops. I really didn't even have to put that, but we just know that's straight on there. Okay, so I really didn't need that. I don't even know why I did that. I was thinking I had it the other way, but that's 
this. That's okay. All right, so just press it down. One way to get your pantry clean. Yes, and I did throw away a ton of stuff because I found like a whole bunch of dressings and some pasta and stuff that was on some rice that was out of date. Potatoes. Yes, potatoes. I have found with potatoes and onions, I forget about them because I put my onions in a bowl in, in the cupboard and I had that one time. I'll tell you the worst, <laughs> and I'm surprised this didn't smell. One time, I don't really cook that much anymore because I'm single. I used to cook, you know, every night. But since I'm single, I don't cook that much. So when I buy like onions or potatoes or something, sometimes they'll just sit there for a while. So I went to get um, something out of my, like a mixing bowl or something. And I see the bowl with the onions in it, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I think they're bad. I pull them up. They had basically, like, evaporated. Have you ever just seen, like, an evaporated onion that there's, like, really nothing left because it's totally, like, just <laughs> disintegrated into thin air? <laughs> I never had seen that before, and I was like, wow. Let me close this. Well, no, I don't want to close it. Let's just put it over there. But I did that one day and I was like, man, these onions are just like totally gone. They weren't even like rotten. They were just like air. There was nothing left but the, the outside of it. All right. So that's nice. Ooh, let's get all this stuff off of here. Okay. So now we're going to sponge this. And put our words on here. So I want to sponge the words just a little bit too. Just give it a little bit of color. So it's not totally, totally white. Okay, so then we're going to put this on here, kind of like right in the middle, just on the edge of the words. Just get it about three quarters of the way over. Make sure it's straight like that. Hold that for a second. You put your onions and green peppers in the fridge. The peppers I put in the refrigerator, but onions I think are just supposed to sit at room temperature. I don't know. When I put an onion in the refrigerator, it gets all dried out. Okay. Fragrant Forest, that's the name of it, yep. Wondering how to put the label on the Fragrant Forest without a big block. Um, I don't know. Without a big block, a label on it? Um, I don't put, I don't put my labels on with the block on. I always put my labels on like, uh, without using anything. I think I have a video. If you watch my like Stampin' 101 video, I show you how, to, how I put my stamps together. So we are done with that. So now we just gotta make our little um, top part. So you wanna put this down with a little bit of glue. So we're just gonna put a little bit of glue there, right up from the middle. And just let that sit for a minute. Takes a minute to dry. This is one of the two sets I haven't used yet. I love this one. Oh, squirrel. You know what happened in my old house? My old house was two stories. So one day we're sitting there. This is like, I don't know, 15 years ago. And um, this is m myself and my ex-husband and my daughter. Oops, it's not dry yet. And we're just all sitting there and we hear like, like this in the ceiling of our den. So we're all just sitting there watching TV and we hear this like scratching noise. So we're like, oh gosh, what's going on? And there's something in the wall and in this, like the wall and the ceiling. And so we're thinking it's either like mice or it's a squirrel or something. 
and we're trying to figure out how the heck it got in. Like, I don't know if it got under the siding of the house or what, but that went on and we would just like bang the wall and <laughs> we're trying to figure out how to get rid of it. And you're just gonna fold this over. I probably should have done that first, but you don't wanna like fold it, smush it, fold it, but oops. We're just gonna have to hold that for a second. So we were just trying to figure out what we we're gonna do. Well, after about two weeks that the sound stopped and we're like, uh oh. So we're thinking either it got out or it died and it died. So about a week later, we're going, oh, holy cow. The worst smell I've ever smelled started coming out. <laughs> and we're like, I don't know what we're gonna do because we couldn't like cut a hole in the ceiling or the wall. So it had died like in inside the wall of the house. So I found, I went online trying to figure out how to get rid of the smell. And it said put coffee grounds. So I did that. And it lasted for like two weeks before that smell finally went away. It was disgusting. So, and we've always had exterminators and stuff, you know, that come like once a quarter and put all that junk everywhere to get rid of critters. But somehow they always end up getting in your house. All right, so hopefully that's dry by now. So I'm just gonna do a double loop. So put the two together, put a little loop and oops. I missed one. Let's try that again. Okay. Well, my fingers are not working today. Okay, there we go. All right, and then just pull that tight and then just trim it. So now you've got that. If you want to, you can just pull it through and have it like coming through here, but I kind of like it just like that. Um, okay, so now I'm going to show you how I did the snow. Oops, let's just leave that there. So what I did was I took a block. We'll just use this one. And I took the white craft ink. This is an old one. So this is what you use for your white craft pad to refill it. So just put a couple drops here. And then take your Wink of Stella. This is an old Wink of Stella. I think it's empty too, hold on. Here's one that's newer. All right, and then you're gonna put a couple drops of Wink of Stella. Hopefully this one's not empty. Oops, that is empty. Wait a minute, let's see if I got another one. <laughs> oh, my Wink of Stella's gone. I think this one has some in it. Well, dang. This one's empty too. I got like four Wink of Stella's here. This one hopefully has some in it. Oh. <gasps> this one's got green in it. <laughs> okay, so I don't want that one. How did that happen? I don't remember putting green in one of them. That's so weird. Huh. Okay. Never mind. let's get a different one. Although that would probably make some really pretty. Let's see what that looks like. Let's take that one that I just had. Let's see what that looks like. So I just mixed it up. So it's the white and, well that, I don't know, I guess I put green refill in there. Hold on. Let's get something to hit it on. Oh, that really makes like pretty. But that's not what I did. So I used some that was just regular Wink of Stella. But let me see. Let's try a different block. Okay, take two. Let's try that again. So, all right, so a little bit of white and then a little bit of regular Wink of Stella. Let's see if this one has some. My God, I can't believe every single wink of Stella I have is empty. Okay, I think that's my last one. <gasps> okay, this one has some. Okay. So there we go. We got wink of Stella and then the white um, 
refill. All right, so what you want to do is just splatter it. So here we go. So I'm just picking it up from that pile. So it gives you kind of a mix of white and the shimmer together to make like snow. And I hope you guys can see that. You can kind of see it on here. And let me see if I hold it up closer. Can you see it? Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the other side too. So hopefully you can see that sparkle on there. If I can get it right in the right light. I hate it when you guys can't see stuff. It's like so plain, clear as day to me, but it's not showing up on the, that's a little bit, you can see it. Let me do the other side. All right, so let's get a little bit more. There we go. Let me wipe that off. I'm making a mess. It's so pretty. I wish you could see it up close. Okay, so there we go. All right, isn't that gorgeous? I wish you could see it so sparkly. It's really, really pretty though. Tip it down, tip it down, okay. to just get it in that light just right so you can see it <laughs> that's really close dang I don't know why it's not showing up on the camera this one shows up the best I think out of all of them but this one's not embossed yeah that one you can see pretty good It's got a lot on there. Okay, so there you go. So there's our projects for today. So I hope you like those. They're all pretty easy. All right, you guys ready for a joke? We have a joke tonight. You see it, use your flashlight on your phone. Oh, well I can't because I'm taping with the, videotaping with the phone. So I can't take the phone down. Um. The alcohol is 70% alcohol. You've got four winks that you keep adding alcohol to. I refill mine sometimes, but it does. sometimes it doesn't work quite as well with the alcohol if you just add alcohol. But um, I have done that before. I think that's probably what I did with that green one is I, I put more alcohol and some green uh, refill in there. All right, so here is my joke. Let me pull it up real quick. All right. This one is from Carol Hart. So thank you, Carol, for sending me this joke. This is cute. Oh, you know what? I just realized I've got splatter all over my computer screen now. <laughs> I can't believe it went that far. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's all over my computer screen. Okay, we'll have to clean that off. All right, so my three-year-old son had a lot of problems with potty training, and I was on him constantly. One day, we stopped at Taco Bell for a quick lunch in between errands. It was so busy with a full dining room. While enjoying my taco, I smelled something funny. Oh, that's so funny because we were just talking about smelling stuff. <laughs> so, of course, I checked my seven-month-old daughter, and she was clean. Then I realized that Matt had not asked to go potty in a while, so I asked him, and he said no. I kept thinking, oh, Lord, that child has had an accident, and I didn't have any clothes with me. Then I said, Matt, are you sure you did not have an accident? No, he replied. I just knew that he must have because the smell was getting worse. So I asked him one more time, Matt, did you have an accident? Matt jumped up out of his chair, yanked down his pants, bent over, spread his cheeks apart, and yelled, see, mom, it's just farts. 
While a hundred people nearly choked to death on their tacos, he calmly pulled up his pants and sat back down to eat his food as if nothing had happened. I was mortified. Some kind elderly people made me feel a lot better when they came over and thanked me for the best laugh they'd ever had. Another older gentleman stopped us in the parking lot as we were leaving, bent over to my son and said, don't worry, son. My wife accuses me of the same thing all the time. I just never had the nerve to make a point <laughs> like you did. <laughs> oh, I thought that was so cute. Okay, so we are done for today. So I hope you enjoyed that. You took a sparkle pen and dotted the whole forest image by hand on the trees. Well, that's a lot of work. Hundreds of times. Oh, wow. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. So I'll be back on Saturday for another video. Don't forget clearance rack. Check that out today. And if you want the card kit with all of the um, gorgeous paper that you can't get anymore. See, I did this on here too. I did the same thing the other day with the Wink of Stella because I can't find my shimmer spray. Oh, you can see it good on here. See, look at that. There you go. That's the look I was going for with the ornaments, which you can see it um, here, but not on the screen. So there you go. All right, so here's our gorgeous cards if you would like to get them. Um, after I have the 15th is over, then um, I'm gonna make up some extra card kits and just sell those. I haven't decided for how much yet, but um, so I'm just gonna be getting rid of all this paper. But I know I'll have a few packs left to give some of you guys. So um, I'll see you back on Saturday. You guys have a great week. Stay warm out there and take care, everybody. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.